What's up guys, it's Gear Change here back with a, another video and today I'm going to be doing the ultimate snow foam gun comparison. Now over time I have accumulated a various different amount of snow foam guns, um, some good, some bad, but I have basically got the main four here that I use on my own car here and obviously my family's cars. So. Um, yeah, I'll do a little showcase on each one. They're all using the exact same wash. I'll show you guys the wash I'm using so it's as fair as a comparison as it can be. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys each one and then I'll just sort of do it on this side of the car here just to sort of show you on the doors or something to see how thick the foam is, how evenly it spreads, um, how long it lasts and everything like that. So got the sun out, so thought it'd be the perfect day to do it. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so just as I said before, I wanted to show you guys the wash I'm using. I'm using Chemical Guys Mr. Pink. So I use this on pretty much all the cars. Um, some people rate it as good, some people rate it as bad. Um, I guess each to their own opinion. I like it. It's not super expensive, but it's not cheap either. It's sort of, I'd say mid-range somewhat, maybe on the higher end in terms of cost. Um, I mainly just try and get it on sale, but yeah pretty good um, I've put an even amount in basically each of the snow foam guns just to sort of make it even I don't obviously want to fill all of them up as I'm not going to be doing like a whole wash of the entire car because um, that'll just take so long to sort of clean up but I've seen a few other comparisons and they mainly just do sort of the side doors or something like that to sort of show you how thick it is and whatnot so I thought that would be the best way to um, go about it so the first cannon I'll be using is this one right here, um, if you guys have seen my previous videos, you'd know I've done a review on it. It is the hand pump one, um, goes for about $10 on AliExpress. Pretty easy to use, um, you don't need much um, soap or even water really. You kind of see down the bottom, it's not super full, I've just put a dash of um, wash in it. It's got a wind protector sort of thing here, so you basically just pump it and it's pressurized and it just does a sort of thick layer of foam, so yeah, I'll um, get to it, we'll start pumping this bad boy and we'll see how it goes. Alright, so the next cannon I'll be using is the Snow Foam Gun V2. Um, this is just powered by your hose pressure, so I guess in terms of ease of use, this and the hand pump one are probably the easiest ones to use. It's got a sort of funnel here, um, you can choose how thick you want the foam on the top here, you guys can kind of see it there. So you kind of just push it along for how thick you want it or how non-thick you want it, um, this being the most thick in terms of foam. So yeah, pretty easy to use. Again, I haven't put like a whole lot in there. You guys can kind of see it's not heaps. But um, yeah, you just hook it up to any hose and you can wash the car as easy as that. So this is the one I use for the most part. Um, I find the pump one a bit hard to sort of sit there and constantly pump for pressure, whereas this one has got constant um, water pressure. So in terms of ease of use, this is pretty good. So um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Next up is the electric rechargeable snow foam sprayer. So. Again, same as the hand pump one, got this one off of AliExpress, got it on a sale, it run me about $60, um, got to me in under two weeks, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd rate it pretty highly, um, it's rechargeable, it's got like a battery indicator there on the top, you guys can kind of see, um, a little sort of type C charging port, so you honestly don't need much if you do like a whole fill of two liters or whatever, um, you can basically wash an entire car. I've washed the XR5 a handful of times with it, like say you're in a rush to go to a car meet and you don't have all the time in the world to obviously get all the soap and everything else and all the other canisters and get the hose and everything like that. Um, yeah, this thing works quite well. Um, I had a few comments based on the pump thinking, oh, it was not gonna last. It's not that expensive, it's $60, it's honestly not too bad. There's similar ones out there and for the price I paid, I haven't had any issues. So we'll see how this goes on the car. I'm pretty sure it'll do a, a decent job, but we'll soon find out. And here is the final cannon. So we've got the MJJC Snow Foam Cannon. So I got this uh, through MJJC Australia on their website. I can't remember how much it cost me. I believe it was around $100, $150. I could be wrong. Um, prices may have changed. But in terms of thickness, this wins um, instantly from previous sort of tests I've done on the cars. I don't think anything will really beat it. But again, it um, can depend on what your price range is and stuff like that and how much you're willing to pay. But yeah, so you've got a sort of cannon here basically. You guys can probably see it in there. You sort of twist it to sort of open or close it um, based on obviously thickness or how far you want it to spray, whether it be like a sort of tight spray or sort of further out. So I usually have it at about there from memory. So 
yeah so and then you've got a little pressure gauge on the top too so it's pretty easy to use um again you know if you've got a pressure washer it's sort of more of a pain sort of carrying it around um trying not to bang into things if it's sort of a older one or whatnot or if, you know you've got to sort of get a extension lead and things like that but all in all um, in terms of thickness um i know from experience with this one it definitely works quite well you don't need much to even wash an entire car if you fill this right up with you know the soap i'm currently using i reckon i could wash all four cars in the driveway comfortably so yeah we'll um see how this last one goes all right so here is the 15 dollar hand pump gun i've uh, already sort of pre pumped it to sort of get some pressure in there so i've wet the car i might give it a bit more of a rinse All right, let's see how she goes. So honestly, it didn't take me too long to pump it. So that's pretty thick soap. Most people tend to use these as more of an accessory from what I've seen, which is fair enough. Um, I've personally used it on the rims of the car, so just in and around the wheels makes it quite easy to sort of clean them. Um, you can even use it on the tires as well if you've got thick enough sort of um, cleaning stuff. So I don't tend to use it to sort of wash an entire car since I've got the others, but if you're on a budget and you want to get sort of like a basic snow foam gun, um, this thing is quite good. Um, if it was completely full, you could do a whole entire car. I've tried that before. I think that's what I did in the actual review video on it. So, yeah. As you guys can see, the soap is quite thick. Like, it's taking a fair bit to sort of leave the um, doors. And it does a very good job of cleaning it too. Like, after I've used it, I wouldn't say the car was super spotless, but it was quite, quite clean. It got most of the dirt off. I feel like you'd still have to sort of give it a scrub. But all in all, quite good. Oh, there we go. Um, if anyone's wondering, this right here is a pressurized thing, so obviously it doesn't expand or crack. You can sort of see the bubbles sort of rising to the top. So it's just for safety, so it's quite smart. So, I'll rinse that off. Quite happy with that. So yeah, there is the hand pump snow foam gun. So that one's all done. All right, so next up is the electric snow foam sprayer. So I like this quite a lot. Um, for the price I paid, I use it on a few occasions. Um, I've washed the entire car with it before. So the entire XR5 has been cleaned with this a handful of times. Um, if you're in a rush, don't want to get all the equipment out, don't want to get a hose or anything like that, you just fill it right up, put some wash in it, and it's good to go. So we'll um, see how she goes. All right. I'd say this foam is definitely not as thick as the hand pump but it is more of an even spread and it seems to be sort of um, leaving the paintwork a lot slower. So as I said, if you've got this like completely full, um, yeah, it's honestly one of the best budget, I reckon, snow foam sprays you could get. I am planning on going to Sydney in the next month or two um, and I plan on just putting this in the boot and taking it with me. So if I need to sort of wash my car, if it's got some like, you know, crap on the front bonnet or front bumper or whatnot like birds and debris and crap I can just sort of use this and sort of give it a quick scrub and get rid of all the crap but I'm pretty happy with that that's quite good in terms of thickness for foam um yeah some people aren't fans of it they seem to think the motor and it's a bit crap could be true I've got a warranty with it so if there's any issues I'll just get another one sent out but yeah I'm pretty pretty happy with that that's some good some good soap so yeah it's the same across the board with all four of them so yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy with that to be fair just get the hose yeah that's that's pretty damn good
So yeah, you guys can probably see it in the sun there, it's quite clean. So yeah, that is the electric snow foam sprayer. Now onto the final snow foam gun. All right, so here is the snow foam gun. Um, it's the one I use most often on the XR5. Um, it's just easy to use, quite thick. Um, and yeah, it's not super expensive, but it's not cheap either. Again, I'll have the prices for each of them listed, but um, yeah, so car's quite wet. I was just testing some other cannons on some other areas, but this is probably the best spot for all of them, but. So that's it there. So not super thick, but in my opinion, thick enough. Um, if you're just gonna coat the car and then possibly go around with a sponge, um, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, I mainly use it because it's just easy. Like you hook it onto a hose, you chuck an off wash. If I had a lot more wa like wash in here in terms of sides, it would probably be slightly thicker. Um, but again, I've got to use the other cannon, so I didn't want to overdo it with just the one, but yeah, it's pretty thick. Um, do it like that. Yeah, so you can hear it, <laughs> you can see it dropping on the driveway, but yeah, no, it's, it's quite thick. Um, so this is the most common one I use, it's pretty easy. Um, so yeah, I definitely rate it. Um, I'll have links to all of these down below as well, all of the individual cannons and where I've got them from. So yeah, so that's the Snow Foam Australia Cannon. All right, so here is the final cannon, the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro. This is probably gonna be the thickest foam. Again, I've added a fair bit of wash, so see how she goes. Right, so, um, yeah, as you guys can see, that is extremely thick. Um, yeah, you can easily do, you know, two, three, maybe even four cars on a full, like a full bucket of this easily. Um, it's a bit of a pain to get my power washer out, so I don't tend to use it often, but when I do, it's when I'm going out to a meet or... You know, I want the car to look extremely clean, so I'll do a massive coat of this and then do like detailing brushes and things like that and try and give it a really, really good scrub. So yeah, as you guys can see, it's it's super, super thick. It's dropping off of the um, side skirts there. So yeah, nah, it's definitely my favorite Canon. Um, I got it on a sale. I think it cost me around a hundred dollars or so. I'll have the price listed um, for you guys. But yeah, in terms of best cannon on the list personally from my perspective it's definitely this one i mean you can't really argue with how thick that foam is if that's what you're going for um there probably are some other ones i think they've got a new one out at the moment and mjjc um don't know the name of it i think it might be a hose one or it might be just a skinnier version of this it's like a sort of long cylinder thing but um yeah i'll probably just stick with this bad boy for now because you can't really complain about that that's extremely thick so, um, yeah, I'll give it a quick rinse off. I'll pop you there. All right, you guys can see it's such a mess where I am filming. It's actually hotter in the sun than I thought it would be for winter, but we'll um, rinse this off. So yeah, that is the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro. So that's the final one on the list. All right, so that is the video. Um, thought it would be cool to sort of do this, show you guys um, all the cannons that I currently have in, I guess, my little cleaning arsenal um, and show you guys the difference in terms of thickness, price and things like that. Um, for each of the cannons that I was showing you guys, I'll see if I can put like a little graphic showing how much they cost, like the bottom left or bottom right, um, just to make it easier for you guys if you plan on buying one of them but yeah i'm pretty happy with all of them to be fair um they're all at different price ranges but they all get the job done at the end of the day so um yeah i'm pretty happy with it um again i didn't want to wash the entire car because it would have taken quite a long time to sort of clean dry it and everything for each individual cannon so i thought just doing it on that side of the car was a good idea so hopefully you guys enjoyed um hopefully it helps you out if you decide to buy a cannon or looking at cannons on on the market and sort of want to know what to get or what to maybe try out so um yeah, uh, be sure to check out the merch as well in the link below. 
I got uh, some fresh new stock, so if anyone's interested, um, check it out. It should be down there. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one, and thanks for watching. Also, be sure to like and subscribe.